This was from Nick, who said he'd like to hear what underappreciated or underrated villains are in either horror flicks or any genre. And okay. the little poster boy there is one of my favorite Philip Seymour Hoffman performances in Mission Impossible. I mm. just think he's particularly in the opening scene of the movie. That opening scene for Mission Impossible 3 is fantastic. For you to <laughs> you think I'm playing? You think I'm playing? You don't think I'll do it? Where is it? Where the hell is it? Look at me. Where the hell is it? Look at me. Stay with me. What, a, what an opening credit sequence, um, or pre-credit sequence. Um, he's just terrifying in that movie. Um, so I think I think that performance was incredibly underrated in that film. Um, but Frank, who have you got? What about Sutter Kane in The Mouth of Madness? You are what I write. Like this town. It wasn't here before I wrote it. And neither were you. Interesting. He's actually, yeah. he's likable. Hmm. You know, but he's he's under he's underrated because we're not actually focused on Sutter Kane. We're focused more on John Trent, uh, and, you know, going through these different types of scenarios and living in a book and actually being a character in a book and feeling for him. But uh, Sutter Kane's not really. If you think about it, he's only talked about in name only. Not we only see him like in three different scenes. Yeah, you know, yeah. Throughout the movie. So that's why yeah. I said Sutter Kane, the mouth of madness. That's a good one. That's I think he's one, one of the that's I think a he's one. a great John Carpenter villain. I well, Harrison Ford in What Lies Beneath. Yeah. Very, very kind of calculated sequence uh, a, a villain in that film. Too cold, huh? I almost froze to death. Laying here wet, naked, pretending to be electrocuted. Playing the long yeah. game. Great performance. Really, really chilling. Um, and yeah. I don't think he got enough uh, enough love for that performance in that film. What about um, also? Um, did you ever see Hard Target? Yes. The, uh, John, Lan was Lance Henriksen in there? Yeah, but yeah. not him. But his underling, uh, Pike. Yeah! Wakey, wakey, you fat fuck! Yeah! But he's the one that's actually you know kind of. You know, where Lance Hendricks' character is, is really, like, out there and just do it already, you know, and just, uh, you know, kill this, kill that. He's like, you know, boss, we got to calm down a little bit. And he probably <laughs> would have, you know, they probably would have survived Jean-Claude Van Damme if they didn't go off his rocker. Yeah, no, good choice. Good choice. A yeah. um, couple of messages here. The differing power dynamics between Hoffman and Cruz in MI3 and Magnolia is a masterclass in acting on both their parts. Yeah, I agree mm -hmm. completely. Magnolia is a great film as well. Harrison Ford is underrated all round, says Brandon. It's a crime. He only has one Oscar nomination. What was his Oscar nomination for? Was it Witness? Brandon will tell us. Shamrock says, underrated villain Clarence Boddicker in Robocop and Max Shrek in Batman Returns. Yeah, I wasn't. But yeah, the Max Shrek thing. Boddicker, was he underrated, do you think? I, I would say uh, um, Bob is actually probably a villain in, this, in Robocop. He's actually, I, I think I would consider him a villain. Bob Morton? Yeah, Bob Morin, because you know he's he's up he's he's up to his eyes in cocaine and the hookers. You know he was he wasn't about protecting anybody. He was all about getting ahead in the company. Um, so yeah, I would th I would I would actually think Bob is actually an underrated villain in RoboCop. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nick, who 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 generously sent the question in, says a few of mine would be Andre Linogue as the baddie in Stephen King's Storm of the Century, yes, and Richard O'Brien as Mr. Hand in Dark City. Just to name a few. Ooh, Ooh Dark City. Didn't you? Have you mentioned Dark City? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. for another day. Enough. Yep. Okay. Say no more. Sorry. Say no more. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Brad Pitt in California. Put your daddy away, Adele. I remember that. Yeah. How about this? How about Ronnie Dangerfield's character in Natural Born Killers? I don't remember. Was he in that? I've yeah, only, I've only was, seen uh, the. I've only seen the movie once. The, okay. the touchy father. Okay, I don't remember him in it. I've only seen the movie once, so yeah. Um, well, any, if Roddy Dangerfield comes out, you all hands, you're going to be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brandon Collins says he should have been nominated for Mosquito Coast as well as Presumed Innocent, Raiders, mm -hmm. and 42. Yeah. 42? Oh, 1942. No. 40 no, 42, the Jackie Robinson movie. 
42? Yeah, the Jackie Robinson movie. Jackie Robinson? Yeah, the baseball am I, player. Am I having it? Oh, fuck all that. We don't watch them films. Of course you don't. You don't watch, you know, the historical great, you know, breaking down the color barrier in baseball. You know, let, me have, and, let me have a look. Uh, I didn't even know he was in, in it. Let me have a look. I've never even, this film wasn't, I don't even think this film was released in the UK. Of course not. You know, I've like never heard of it. boot wasn't released over here. <laughs> Chadwick Boseman's in it as well. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, great did, stuff. Ba- base, uh, ba- is it basketball or baseball? Baseball. <gasps> baseball. <laughs> they, those films don't get released over here at all. I, I could see if they make the uh, the life story of Christian Rinaldi or whatever his name is, you're, <laughs> you're going to go, you're going to flock to the movie theater, aren't you? <laughs> um, Wayne Rooney, a true story. <laughs> I'm sure it's on, 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 v- on VHS, on DVD or Blu-ray or something, but certainly I don't remember it coming out in the cinema over here. Watch it. It's, um, it's, a, it's a good movie. Really yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Was it successful in the U.S.? Not a, not, it, it, you know what? I think it came, became a success after mm. uh, it was initial release, and certainly, you know, when when um, Chad died. Okay, Kurgan in Highlander. Happy Halloween, ladies. I Cl- like uh, Clancy Brown. Clancy Brown. I think it's a fantastic, really underrated performance as a villain there in that film. Cropsy from The Burning, an underrated villain. Um, yeah. Film, yeah. I, you know, never got enough love in the 80s. Has uh, had a fair bit of love since, um, but I think so. I always think it's an underrated slasher movie and should um, have spawned a franchise, but um, sadly didn't. Okay, and the final one that I had was Horace Pinker. In Shocker. Mm. I, I, I haven't watched it for a few years, but when I was a kid, I, I, I'm a kid in my teens, late teens or whatever, um, I loved watching um, Shocker. I thought it was a good, fun film. Great soundtrack as well. So thank you, Nick. Thank you Thanks, very Nick. much.